Welcome back guys, this is Unfinished. I am your host SK Gitonga. Do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms. Today we're talking about digital scamming, which takes us to our next question. Personally, how do you stop yourself from getting scammed? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I read lots of books. I might scam the scammer. <laughs> that is another big problem cause you know now we are in a digital era. We, uh, we have come from analog to digital. Not all people manage to be in, in digital. So they are like our mothers, still they are not able to, to be well informed. Yeah. So you, you hear like, you hear like you, somebody is old and he or she have been conned. This is a new number. Sijui umeshina 50,000 tuma miya saba ya deposit miya saba ya withdraw. Ah, ukitu miyo staff kama yo me I normally ignore. Digital scammers, I don't involve myself in those easy coming ways of money. If it is money, I have to go, I have to plan well on how I'm going to get my money and then put steps on how, uh, on how I'm going to reach to that goal. So I don't do anything to do with online, to do what, what. I don't know even that much because I'm not interested in that field. They are scammers. Okay, one thing I say, oh, I say deals on a party, on a skiza too. On a skiza the, as in the deal is too good, I don't want the deal is too good. So, when I say my what to work as Kwanza. Kama yo ya, I don't know, ni wasi ngishu? Okay, nilikuwa na sike return, walikuwa napatiwa return ya 18%. Of which, adu kendo wa sesa di bank, saku na ningumu pate bank sadi zina kupatiwa return ya 18%, naona? So, mina za sema, as in the deal was too good, alafu unapata, kuna wasi wana kama, adu wana, wana tuwa as in 3.2 million bro. As in, adi si wende tu, we went to invest somewhere, as in, as in the deal in a kashedi, in a bado tunia, as in, Unatoyo pesa yote, nyo watoko na pesa. Adi msema nyo watoko na pesa, lakini. So, mina za sema zi, nwa sepi ya wakwa kia sese, wana nenezo madil, wana evaluate, wana angali laka deal ziko fiti, kama zina make sense. Unaza jua deal, shady na deal. Unele deal ina kangafani, naka unaone ina kafani, unaza, unaza consult wase wengine wanyo kwa my experts, uku hivi nje, unaza nene, kuambie, unaza, I uh, love pure illiteracy. I love pure illiteracy. By first of all, you just have to check the agreements before signing or depositing any kind of money. You must read the agreements and the things, the disagreements there. What are they called? Um, that thing. There's a thing there. <laughs> Number one, or maybe it's the only way. I have stories that people have been scammed before. I have a certain story. I wouldn't put myself in that situation. I have a certain story that I have that situation. Let me put it that way. I have a certain story that I have a scam. Heavy and heavy. So, I have a certain story that I have a scam. So, that's how I protect myself. By watching most of this content online, I have a certain story that I have. Giving my best in my daily life basis of work that's good keeping me I prefer not to be greedy in a way saying that uh, I will look for money in a past way it's giving yourself the discipline part of it uh, having the discipline of growth growth does not come uh, in a fortnight growth takes time it's ac accepting the situation at the time and accepting the process of growth. That's what keeps me. I don't think so. I don't think so because uh kunge kwa well informed kunge kwa na story of scamio ama story ya kubebo fala. To which extent because if they do so then uh, we have a very good den of corruption. Uh, I think if they have to certain extent to certain extent yeah, they don't just, you know, in Nigeria, I saw in Nigeria, the population is very high, but the banks, uh, there are not many. Uh, but you know, now you can see the, the, the economy is a bit low. 
you cannot okay as much the only thing that makes them a bit high is because they produce oil and uh, that population but here in Kenya the population is you can't compare with Nigeria but uh, we have a lot of banks and that's why I make money more so if the government if they must regulate to which extent I feel like people should not be naive. Personally, when I encounter such, I make sure that I have done my research properly. And then another thing is uh, for you guys, I feel like you should be financially literate. Look for information online, get books. And then also remember, when the deal is too good, think twice. Which takes us to our last question. Do you think the government should regulate private financial sectors? Let me know what you think in the comment section. Uh, they should, but also they, sh they should look not to, to be so harsh so that everybody can be able to move and to, to go ahead with uh, whatever he or she is doing so, so that you can do it in a good way that, and you are satisfied. They should, have, um, it is challenging because they also get um, some tax from there. So it is us who should train our, on ourselves on the better way to go. And which one, is, we should have financial literacy on which one is the best and which one is scam. We should be capable of in, uh, identifying the scammers and the real ones. Most, though most of them are scammers. Uh, I think first we have to deal with corruption first, and then we come to clarity, and then they can regulate it. Uh, one of our regulates, uh, one of our regulates do adi, uh, so as in one of maybe one is a, one is a zero register maybe, as in a journey, cause the license yani, so as in, uh, as in a do okay and those kick to me license yon a gava, kill like two coffee, as in in a ku, in a kusedia kupati as in motisha and your stuff, no, as in as a kwa legit. So, uh, I'm not someone of our regulates. Yeah, taxi, you pay it not taxi. As in, I mean, as I say, in as long as a confidence, a trust, a credibility, your investment. So, as I say, I regulate Sana. I'll not in Mr. Kubali. Government in Gilea, Sababu. Government in Gilea, I like. Most of the people in government are corrupt. So, in Gilea, if you have to Zako Stapatia too. Every day we are going disappointments. I guess so. In order to improve the country, they must invest all over. You see, we have like the private hotels, the private sectors, which are actually doing better than the public ones. But the government um, wants to tax, like Nisemeaje, like the private ones have better accommodation to the local people, so that. Yeah, I think they should. <laughs> uh, for, I know I, I was once scam when I was a boy. Now I'm a man. I think I was, I, when I was a teenage. But now I think it was an eye opener. First of all, if I have to transact, to who? Why? Because if you say digital scam, even your relative can scam you. If you can tell you, I want to, I have a shampoo or I want to do this, and literally he's not doing that. So at the end of the day, you'll dig the money out of your pocket. For you to protect yourself, uh, uh, know what's happening, know what's happening, know your finance, uh, how are the, your flow. Don't just give money. Even lending someone money and it's not returning back, you might end up losing the money and the person and the friend. Just know who, you are, who to give the money. How often do you show? How often do you give out your money? You will protect yourself. I think they should just for, for the safety, for the safety of the people. According to me, I don't think they should uh, engage most in in uh, regulating them because uh, the government is also very much dependent on the on these uh, entrepreneurs and other uh, and other people who are trying to make uh, a living out of the institutions. Mm -hmm. Simply because once an institution grows, the nation grows. I have a regulation that should be made is to make sure that uh, it does not uh, squeeze them out as investors and also it does not squeeze the people who are investing in the farm itself. Mm -hmm. That's the, the regulation that should be there. 
so that we don't have people who are being squeezed as people who are investing in a farm and the government is not squeezing the nation uh, the, the investors out of the nation because this is also a source of government that's the only regulation i think should take place any other regulation of all they are they are making i think that one should be left to the to the to the source or the main people who are starting the company yeah government yetu imetuonyesha na history yake he will regulate anything our government can't regulate anything so ni mtu mwenyewe uji Saidia tu. Me personally have been scammed. Ata siki tambo ni last year December I was scammed. So hapa kuna vile government ingeni saidia. Ni mi mwenye inafani kwetu bright enough kwa na naenda kuskamiwa. But then diskamiwa last year December. <laughs> so I live in a place called Kikuyu. Mm, Wayaki waitu hapo mbele. So tumeku, nimetoka hivi kukula lunch. Naenda kwa nyumba. I met these two people and atembea mbele yangu a girl and a boy then the girl anangusha kitu kutoka kwa mfuko yes i spot it unaona but i don't do anything misi yangu plus i don't care about like misi nge yoko tapia ni mpatie so si mine ndile kutembea the dude mwenye alikuwa na huyo dem anakota hiyo anakuja kwangu then ananiambia ni do like ali rarwa hivi kando ananisha do kweli kulikuwa hapo na noti ya so the girl at the point amevuka barabara amendo side ingine so mimi natembea na this guy ananiambia hii ni do twende so tumetembea kiasi like okay i'm still not interested the girl crosses the road anakuja kutuambia nimeangusha kitu umeona this dude ananiwinkia ni anisemwe hatujaona anything mimi naambia zi mimi nimekuwa nikitoka shughuli zangu mimi naenda kwa nyumba sijaona so this guy tunafika hapo mbele ananiambia fanyaje kuheshikilia hivi hizi pesa juu dem na juu amini shuku tukifika hapo hivyo kwa stage tunaenda hivi upande gari tutakutana na wewe mbele sinaambia no problem najua mani maana anapenda do like people love money generally nimechukua hiyo do tumeenda tumefika hapo hivyo ananiambia bana hii pesa ni mingi unaiguza kweli nikiguza nasikia ni mob ananiambia pesa ni mob kuna au macha hapo kaambia sasa mimi niko na 3k kaniambia leto wa 3k jo mimi sikuamini nika withdraw hiyo nikampea ilikuwa mpesa ananiambia leta kwanza simu namwambia zisi siwezi kupea simu jo nikifika huko inafaa to communicate kaniambia by the way kweli so mimi nimempea 3k ni withdraw kwa mpesa niko na simu yangu kufika huko hivyo nimepanda gari kufika kikuyu now town ena ngoja hubo hii hafiki ena kamweni ile kwa public washroom kwenda kufungua hivi ni so iko juu ndani ni mapepa zimekatwa katwa zimefungwa na blada ena shangaa nimetoka hapo sandu ina kuhit yenye umeibiwa like I've been conned. Nikarudi kwa nyumba niko na stress, sina do, but at least niko na simu. Naweza make phone calls and say yeah, ni maybe or. so that's how it went. I totally agree. I feel like the government should definitely regulate private financial sectors because that way it's easy for people to take uh, to tell if something is authentic or not same way we have cabs on like food products and other stuff we should have like a label or a stamp or something to tell you that this has been tested and this is definitely legit we have come to the end of the show thank you so much for watching thank you for keeping us engaged in the comment section see you next time guys bye